choosing a world free from female genital cutting. I was cut at seven years old. I remember it as if it was yesterday. Auntie, where are we going? The pain was indescribable. I didn't understand what was happening. After I was cut, I hemorrhaged for three days. I love school, but I missed a lot while I was recovering. I know parents love their daughters and have them cut because they want the best for their futures. As I grew older, I learned that being cut is an ancient practice that meant girls would be respected in the community. I was told this was to ensure a girl's virginity until marriage. Girls around the world undergo different types of cut. Cutting can cause lots of problems throughout life. When I got married, I had to be cut open again for my wedding night. I almost couldn't stand the pain, but we had two beautiful children that I love. Years later, we took part in a basic three-year education program in our language thanks to a grassroots organization. We learned so much about human rights and responsibilities. Even though we had been questioning it on our own, it took us a long time to speak openly about FGC. It was difficult. But once we did, we learned that most Muslim women in the world aren't cut. We also learned that FGC is a violation of our human right to health. We spoke with religious leaders and found that this tradition is not an obligation of Islam or any religion. I'm worried that if we cut my daughter, it will cause her lots of health problems. But if we don't, no man will marry her and she will be excluded. The community expects it. My daughter still has health problems. I would support anyone who chooses not to cut their daughter. After our education program, we made a community-wide decision to end FGC together. Now, many more girls are still in school. Like my daughter, they are healthier and happier. Now I volunteer with others in the communities, traveling to villages to share why we chose to abandon FGC. After much discussion, many villages joined the movement too. We're here today in front of relatives and neighboring communities to declare publicly that we will no longer cut our daughters, joining a growing movement of thousands of villages. We are all proud to say that our daughters and future generations will not be cut. Together, we can all be part of creating a world free from FGC. With your help, FGC can end globally within a generation. Join the movement.